All right, guys. You can already tell we have a uh, like one of those reverse ones. So what happened? I was doing the video, had some friends come over. We started talking, hanging out. I got so distracted, I came back and I, I didn't even know where to start. Or and I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just start over. It'll save you guys time and save me time. It'll be a shorter video, much more condensed. Cause I already have my thoughts kind of lined up now. Okay. Uh, if you guys can hear the music background, they're having a lovely party. It's, you know, a Saturday. It's great. It feels nice outside right now. I hope you guys are having a great time. Uh, I'm having a great time. Uh, I'm just something, you know, I feel lucky, you know, uh, to be alive and to have a, a roof over my head. So, uh, be thankful for things that we got, guys. Okay, let's get back down. So, what happened is this, this sucker right here, right? Okay, I was looking, but this is all about, these are about two months old, maybe. I bought all these from WGC shop, and I've been slowly trying to go through that re every, uh, review table. I literally have a sheet, a Google Sheet, and I'm like, I put on the, hey, test, abuse, uh, get, uh, you know, 5,000, test this, you know what I mean? So I'm finally kind of, you know, knocking things out. We'll have some overviews coming up soon on other guns. Uh, this guy... I couldn't find him two months ago. He was just out of everywhere locally and almost everywhere online. And then I found WGC Shop and it brought me back to like old time. I was like, oh shit, they're still alive and they updated the website. And I was like, man, this is really good. Let's, you know what? Let's buy from here. So we ended up buying this. And I saw the Action Army had some other stuff. I was like, you know what? They did such a great job. And by this point, I had already played around the AP and I, I really liked what the product was they did an excellent job i was like why not let's just test out a couple of the products they don't have too many things but they you know but the usual like you know tm will come out with a couple of things but not too many things it's the same with most companies they don't always they don't like flood the market with aftermarket uh parts they just give a couple things action army came out with a couple of interesting things uh there's only one that i don't really like and we'll talk about that um and so we ended up buying this, the 5K used to have a couple things here and there, okay? You can see this is already assembled and I, I was filming it and talking and we were trying to figure out how to put it on. I was just, I was so stupid. The video was already like 40 minutes long because I was just, in the beginning I was like, oh, this is going to be all one big video. And that's, I was determined to do it, but then, you know, things just happened. And that's okay. It worked out for the best. Because now I can condense it and show you guys faster what it is, what it does, uh, how it looks, uh, how to install it. It's just, it's gonna be much easier, okay? This one, however, will get its own video. Cause I probably think this is the most, thing I was the most curious about. Everything else is kind of like, you know what, let's test it out to see what they're about, how their quality is, etc. okay? So this will be the next video. That will be part two. If you guys see anything, you want more details, or hey, can you check this out? Let me know and I'll work with you guys on it, okay? This is composed of three parts from Action Army. I mean, I remember seeing it and I was like, this looks really cool, okay? Look, guys, I'm a fan of, um, if you guys ever played Cyberpunk, I didn't touch Cyberpunk, by the way. I knew it was gonna be dog as I released I played all the, rich, the Witcher games. Um, I waited for that for a year until they came out with 2.0 and then 2.2 and then I actually played it. I like, there's so many different aesthetics I like and I, when I saw this, I like, oh, this looks cool. This is going to be like a little, you know, uh, like fun little carbine kit if you wanted to build. Like now I don't, have, I don't have a stock, but you could essentially put a stock on here and then call it a day. I already got the front and this is cool. Like I don't want the, I don't want the, the, I've seen like the AR ones. I don't want that. To me, that's just like, you know, I want more futuristic looking. And this setup, and this is all Action Army. So let me show you the box and I thought this, look how, to me this is really cool. You wanna put a mag in here? I don't have everything super uh, uh, super uh, tightened right now, okay? So that's the only thing that's, okay? So you can, magazine release, works. Okay, and you're gonna laugh or you'll see what this is. So let me show you the box. This is the lightweight handguard. Okay, these are all in WGC shop. These were all pretty reasonable for what they are. This aluminum, the real aluminum, and that's what it comes with. You can get it in black and red, okay? Uh, to install it, you have to be nifty if you want this on here. You can't, because you have to rotate this, right? You can see, guys, it's blocked by here, right? 
So that's this part right here, right here. Let me move on. And then we have this part. This is the mag extend grip. Okay. This is plastic. The, uh, the nylon fiber, you know, the glass, it, you can tell. This is it's very high quality. They've done an excellent job. Feels great, looks great. You know, sometimes whenever like, uh, how always people say, hey, you know, why don't you want 3D printing parts? Because I always say like, I'll post something, hey, has anyone made a uh, something X, X uh, in, uh, uh, I'm blinking out, injection mold. And they'll always, they'll always calm me with, oh, 3D printing. I'm like, shit, I don't want 3D printing. This is what I'm looking for. 3D printing isn't here yet. Okay, boy, well, it is, but certain studios, and those are high level. Okay, that's not, that's not for the consumer. But look at this. This is just beautiful. Feels great. It is strong. Okay. And it comes with these two rails. You take these two rails off, and then you take the screws off, and that's how it works. Okay, uh, you don't need this. You can just put this on the original one, right? So for these two parts to work, you need the international version. You cannot wait. Uh, I'm sorry. You need the the complete version, which is you know it's kind of stupid. I did a video on that, so just go check that. You need the rail. Okay, you, if you get the cheaper version at e-bike, the one that's like 99 bucks, you will not be able to set these two up. It does not come with the rail. You need it, unfortunately, okay? Uh, what else? And then this is the barrel extension. Now, I think it's a little weird name. It shouldn't be called barrel extension, okay? They have three lengths. They have long, medium, and then short. I think it's like 30, 70, 130 millimeter, okay? Uh, red, tan, or FDE, black. Very cool, lightweight aluminum, but they're just empty, hollow suppressors, okay? I don't know, maybe they can't say suppressors anymore, so maybe, you know, it's just a legal term, it's better to say that. Um, I think it's just such a cool, cool look. Now, it is only holding on to the very small section. You see where my fingers are? That's it. That's all it's holding on to. And watch how you take it. You can kind of detach it pretty fast. Okay. I didn't tighten it uh, very at, at, at all. Okay. I, I did everything loose so I could just, you know, show everybody. So you'll see right here. Okay, here you go. See? So the only thing I will say is while I love the look, it's not like I'm going to be here, you know, gripping that and pulling against it because that's that's all you're holding right here. That's that's it, buddy. Okay. Um. So you guys can see how that works. The barrel extender is it, empty. If you want to put stuff in it, go ahead. You can take it apart. They give you an O-ring and a little screw to lock it in place. I didn't put those on because this is, once again, this is my stock gun. So I was just demonstrating and I, I didn't take the, uh, this is the, the stupid 3D printing one. That is an absolute nightmare to take off. Yeah, so you can see right here, great quality, okay. The, it's, you can see how slim it is. It's much slimmer than an Osprey, and it makes sense. It makes, it looks, to me, this looks aesthetically. So look, these one, two, three are all aesthetics. You absolutely do not need them. The only reason you would want anything like this, and you can get any suppressor or barrel extender, is to protect your inner barrel. Okay, so if you have an inner barrel that is going to exceed the amount right here, yes, go get a suppressor, get a, whatever you want, cover that inner barrel. If you fall, you don't want to hit your inner barrel. You understand? You just don't want to chip that crown. You don't want to bend it. You want to have at least your, your barrel standard suppressor protected, okay? So that's the only time I tell you get it. You can even 3D print your own, have fun with it, okay? Get what you want aesthetically. That's the whole point, guys. We're here to have fun. Let boys be boys. Build the gun the damn way you want to build it, okay? So we've got that covered. The next thing that up that we got was the magazine release by far my favorite a little expensive but i think it's worth it where's the box for it is it this one okay extended mag release 
It, it is sexy. Okay, look at that. To me, I thought like, damn, it is out there. Okay, you can't miss that. It is easy to push, and the great thing about them, I think this is the first time I've seen the company really do this. I, I bought a lot of magazine releases, but at the same time, it made you realize, um, when I was talking about TTI in the, on the high cap interbrow, I'm like, the, oh, I haven't seen the company do this, and the, uh, the creator of SSP5 said, hey, Cal Cal did it. I was like, oh shit, it's like, it's like I have a four, four or five year, you know, like gap that I'm missing. You know, if you know one piece that worth a thousand years, a thousand or a hundred year gap, I'm missing I'm missing information that I usually would normally have because I would always be buying from companies checking up hey new part new part I'd be checking all the time so that's the one thing I I realized you know it's like oh shit you know I don't I'm not up to date and that's what I'm trying to do I am trying to get to up to date but check it out and I thought to me this was such an ingenious thing you guys see it it's patterned like they didn't have to do that. It looks like it looks nice enough that you could just, if you want it like that, hey, no worries. We got you. We got it. We got it patterned. And if you want that extended part, put the extended part. I love the extended part. Okay, I to be to be honest, I have short thumbs, and, and I I'm a sucker for extended magazine releases. And like, as a player, that's I'm using mags okay I, I i love changing my mags i love that you know shooting shooting drop getting in there i'm all about that life i just i've always loved it done real steel competition it just becomes part of you okay so magazine release 10 out of 10 it's it's sexy and it's the first magazine release we have i i i was shocked to not really see um more magazine release options i think ctm is going to be the first one we get that's going to have magazine. I, I bought all of Cal Cal and I bought all of TTI. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think we actually have any. Okay, so this is actually my first magazine release for the AAP and I, I love it. Feels great. Push, it's just so smooth. So, huge thumbs up. Here's where uh, I didn't like, okay? This is their extended mag. Okay. Let me. Okay. This is the 50 round mag. Uh, you know, they do a great job of packaging. Okay. Whoever their, the marketing team is, they, I, I really like how they present everything. By the way, it was beautifully packed. Great job on that. I don't like this though. This was $52 on WGC Shop. Okay. I don't want one, two, three, three points of area for leaks, okay? And there's a reason why they did this. You're going to understand really quick right now, okay? So look at this. Um, it's like 218 grams. Right, let me double check. Oh, by the way, the uh, this is the O-ring and the little screw that the barrel extender comes with. So you can position it. Okay, 219.2, okay? Uh, you know, nothing really fancy, but this was $52. The problem I have with that is, yeah, this right here, look. This is TTI. I think TTI is actually a little bit cheaper. And you get this beautiful, you know, extended, you know, little plate right here. And uh, they've just done an excellent job. And they also have that just that extra pin. To me, that is just it's just a no-brainer. It's a well-thought-out design. So TTI, to me, takes the cake right here. Like, you're not going to catch me buying this because now I have an extra point of contact here that I have to worry about leaking, right? Here's why they did it. I'm pretty sure. Take a look at it. Look familiar? It just made sense probably financially. They probably just had the, the, the master mold for it and they're like, shit, let's just do it. And they just made one for this. Maybe that's, uh, it's my only idea, my only, con you know, concept. And then we're moving on to this guy. So for $52, I have to say no to this, okay? I wouldn't, 
you wouldn't catch me buying this again, okay? I'm buying TTI so far, they're my favorite. There's only another one company I need to check for Glocks, and that's gonna be Max Tax. I think if their if their Glock mag is anything special, then I'll check it. If it looks like a normal one, I think we're done with the Glock mags and we're done. But Max Tax is an interesting company. They're a paintball company. Go check them out. Look at their high cap of mag. Okay, that's what I want you guys to look at. Now we have this guy. You can see I was already playing around with them. Uh, so HPA works for him. He is green, you can use green gas. Uh, this is a little manual comes with. You'll see. This is probably the coolest function. The build quality on this is phenomenal. But we'll get to that at the end. Uh, and then about 350 BBs, okay? And then three is his right here. You pull the rope four to five times. So it is a manual loading one. Okay, do not over pull the cause. You don't want to uh, do the spring damage and number four aeration 15 seconds only green gas no red gas okay i used it with propane i'm not gonna lie i thought i was gonna blow up my gut it feels so powerful because it's got all that oh, just have, remember green gas propane is just you know there's no it's, green gas is diluted they put all that crap in it, the perfume okay Propane, I love propane. It's dry, no crap in it. If you want to put lube, you can put lube in it, okay? You, you have the, the customization of that, and it's cheaper. You pay f two, three, four, well, now it's like four dollars, and I went up to fishing trip, and it was like freaking four dollars and 37 cents at Walmart, but if you can buy it on sale, you can get them for two bucks. Now, I know they still do the sales, so you just gotta be really thrifty, and you buy, people are gonna look at you weird, but you buy all, you buy all, all the propane you can when it's a dollar or two dollars if you see the Coleman's these I'm just gonna tell you guys right now look if you're an American if you ever see these at one dollar or two dollars you buy every single damn one you possibly humanely can if you're uh, like a heavy airsoft or a heavy gas user okay buy every single damn one I promise you it will last you years okay you can I, I mean, I'm shooting like every day and I still have some of my like haul from my last Walmart haul okay check stores I always say it check at the end of summer at the end of winter you want to check when they're like trying to offload stuff not in the beginning of summer not in the beginning of uh, winter okay not in the beginning of hunting season because everyone's trying to buy these to go you know hunting with okay or fishing or camping now back to this sorry I got sidetracked I always want to pass any deals I can for you guys to save money this guy the build quality is beautiful it feels great it looks great okay it's, I can't I can't say anything bad about it but this is my only my own this is my second drum mag I own an automated one the electric one and I'm not gonna lie those electric ones are just I push that button and that thing just goes for ever and ever so this is my first manual one and i'm like ugh, it's, it's kind of weird and this was a hundred and ten dollars so it is not cheap it is definitely not cheap but in my head i now i have a a a, a glock one and i have a high cap one so i'm like okay that's not bad for me that's a good start and um 350 is not bad Okay, you, you pull it, and you'll see right now, like, no pressure, right? Yeah. Okay, and then you can see sometimes it doesn't, you kind of just, okay, that's four. I'm not going to do another uh, five, you can. I'm going to try to baby it, and look at this. This is the coolest part. Toolless. Okay. I mean, that is just ingenious. Cause I, I've, so I've had customers send me their drum mags. Um, my, I have the tap one and you have to kind of pull out the stopper. I've lost that stopper. It's not my first time losing it. It's kind of annoying. This is toolless. So I love it. Um, the other ones I've worked on are the Wii ones, but I don't know the new ones. Okay, the Wii ones are the only ones I know. Wii, the automated one, which is, I think is HFC, and then this guy. Okay, so I'm not the target audience for this. I, I gotta be honest, I'm just not, okay? 
I think it's really cool, but once again, it's not really for me. It does, it doesn't feed as well. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys hear it. I don't want to shoot too much because I don't want everybody thinking I got a gun or something. Ah, shit, never mind. The the music stopped right now, so I don't want to, you know, scare everybody. Because there's a lot of people that don't, you know, know I airsoft. Like the family knows I airsoft, but not, you know, they're they're the party goers. Okay, so we're not going <laughs> to scare the neighborhood. But I want to say when I was testing it early, when I I was testing the music, y you can it like it, it was. It'll shoot, and then you could hear it. You can hear it like, okay, this world, and then it picks up again. So, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not the guns, and I'm pretty sure this guy can't just keep on, on full auto, and that's only at 100 psi. Okay, uh, on green, on on propane, this thing feels like it's gonna blow up my AP. It's just insane. The same thing with this mag. Okay, it's just it feels so so damn strong i forget because propane guys is just a step up versus green grass it's just not diluted okay uh if you guys have any questions let me know i'm okay that it, it got messed up because this is so much cleaner we're, we were at 40 minutes and i wasn't even <laughs> talking about everything so remember we covered the barrel extender these are all on wgc shop just type in action army and then make sure you do it by brand and these are like, this was the most expensive, 110. I think these were in the 30s. The magazine release, I think, was the most expensive for how small it was. But this is just beautiful, and it feels so damn good. I, I it's, it's the weirdest feeling, and it just feels good, and it looks good. So I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I think, to be honest, everything else is cool. This is all aesthetics. It's about building what looks cool to you, right? And I, I wanted to see how Action Army did their other products besides their, you know, their stock gun. And they do an excellent job. They're reasonable. Okay? So it reminds me a lot of TTI. Now, this one is where I would have to... You have to be a little, a little bit more careful, okay? Because you're not getting... You know, you can't... It's not like you can... You don't have support in the front, so be careful with that. That's the only thing for me. I think this is just purely, you know, cosmetic. You know, I kind of want this on the cow cow setup, but I have to go find how to get out. I need just this rail, so I gotta figure out how to get just the rail. I'll see if you like has it. Um, and this is what we're gonna check out next in its own video okay because i'm a little curious about this like for example guys i can't put this most likely i don't think i would be able to put this in the tti and i know i think so i asked them oh by the way i think guys they are working like i want the magazine release to go into this guy magazine release is definitely going to TTI. this is the wrong lower by the way wrong lower um I wonder how it look on here actually. Okay, so we can't even, yeah. Okay, it won't work on there. So look, it, it, it probably won't work with everything. You need to realize that. But anyways, they are working on a hop-up unit. TTI is working up on it for the, for the AAP. So, you know, I can understand why it wasn't prioritized because they turned the stock one into a TDC. So I'm curious to see what they're going to do to evolve that at some point. But their high capper, I love. It's done a great job. It's been, I've been shooting it. Um, okay. So we will cover the this one next. Okay. I will see you guys in that video. Remember, if you have any questions, specific questions, let me know. Um, Maybe I'll actually I'll upload this one. I'll let it sit for a day and then we'll cover this so I can take a break for today And I'll just leave this here for for a little bit. I don't need to work on anything right now. Do I? No, I should I got the customers. I got one of the customers gone. Okay, actually I'll, I'll have to clean up. Okay uh, I'll just cover this and then if we need if we need an extra we'll just do a third a third video But we'll end this there will probably be just a two series action army aftermarket upgrades we'll just bunch it into i'll try to put it in the title uh, that's just a mouthful 
We'll put it actually on. Okay, um, now I'm talking to myself. All right, see so you guys around. Well, I mean, shit, I am talking to myself. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Uh, happy Father's Day. I know it's Saturday, but tomorrow's Father's Day. Uh, you know, I hope you guys. You know, I know everyone has a different experience with the father, but you know, happy Father's Day to my dad. Uh, he provided a lot of sacrifice, a lot for my uh, family. You know, things always didn't work out as best, but that's just life. So, but we talk, and that's make sure you guys talk to your family and. Uh, you know, they're your dad and mom. Make sure you tell me you love them, okay? Take it easy, guys. Have a good one.